Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. My name is Matt Hester, and I want to take a quick look at a great administrative tool inside of Windows Server 2008 R2. Specifically in this screencast, we're going to take a look at two of the great new enhancements to group policy management, specifically uh, filtering group policy settings, as well as uh, preferences and actually be able to control filtering um, and actually targeting of those settings themselves. So let me go ahead and hop right in and hop into my group policy management console right here and notice that in R2 the console really hasn't changed too much um, if I right click and go into the settings even the group policy management editor really has not changed too much well one of the challenges we've had with group policy in, in different versions of Windows Server is how do you find the settings that you're looking for and most of you probably did or even if you sent me emails in the past saying, hey how do I find the settings I probably sent you to a link or you've downloaded this uh, of a spreadsheet that was the spreadsheeting references file uh, the settings reference file specifically and we had one that seemed to come out with every new template or every new setting that we've put into the group policy and we're talking about thousands upon thousand settings well some of you may or may not like that. Well, one of the great things that we built in to Windows Server 2008 is the ability to filter the settings that are currently inside of your uh, at a group policy management tool. So inside of here, I'm going to right click on all settings and notice I have the all settings, which is a nice way to look at everything that's there. And notice I have two options, filter on and filter options. So I'm going to go ahead and go into filter options and I have a couple of choices of how I can actually filter and look for these or you can use them all in combination. I can look for settings based on what kind of their, their current settings are at. Um, do I want to find the ones that are just managed? Um, and you have, remember you have managed and unmanaged group policy settings. Unmanaged group policy settings are traditional, uh, traditionally handmade group policy settings and normally these are persistent. So that becomes a very useful setting if you're trying to find what kind of work an administrator have done prior to you actually uh, working on the server itself. You can look for all the settings that are configured. Uh, this is a hugely useful setting, especially, yeah, you've got the settings report in the group policy management console itself, but here I can actually drill in and just show me all the ones that are currently configured. And if you put comments, you can actually query for that. You have the ability to do keywords. So I'm gonna, uh, I can do run menu and I can say just the policy and title. I can say exact, any or all. Or you can even do enable requirement filters, which allows you to do some of those, you know, hey, I only wanna find the ones that apply to Windows 7 or only wanna see the ones that apply to Windows Media Player 11 or Windows XP or Vista or Server 2003, uh, etc. The point is you can quickly find those settings that apply to the different platforms you're trying to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that one for now. I'm just going to look for the Run menu and click OK. And notice what it does here is it shrinks down my administrative templates and only shows me the ones that actually filter and meet that. Now the reason I was very specific with the exact because that's what I was looking for. I, I knew it was something there's a remove run and here it is and I can actually configure the settings so I can enable that and click OK and now that's currently enabled and if I don't want to see the filter anymore I want to see what other settings are there I can simply just right click and say filter uh, click the box that says filter on and it turns it off and shows me everything else. And that other option that we had, if I go to filter options, I'm not going to do keyword, but just show me the ones that are currently configured and click OK. Notice now it shows me just the one that's configured. The great thing about this is that you can really find all those different settings and it makes it very easy to query the different settings that we have. I think the settings reference file may be useful in some factions, but the fact that now that I can filter right inside the tool, you may not need that spreadsheet anymore. Great, great enhancement. The other one I want to take a quick look for is targeting. Inside of preferences, uh, if I go into preferences and I'll just create environment variable, it doesn't really matter so much what I'm actually creating here because I'm just going to make up some just odd values. If I go to common, on your preference settings, you have this option that says item level targeting. I'm going to check that and I'm going to go ahead and click on targeting. And what this allows me to do is get into the targeting editor, which then will allow me to add new items. Say, hey, you know what? I only want to have certain CPU speeds. Um, I only want to make sure that they have so much uh, memory uh, or RAM on the system. So I only want to apply these policies or preferences based on what's here. And if you are familiar with WMI query, and you get kind of a basic through this wizard. But what targeting allows me to do is now be very, very specific to how my group policy preferences are applied 
down to the system. So for those of you who use WMI, it's like, well, yeah, you could do that in the past. Well, here is a much nicer and easier way to use this, and this is just called group policy targeting. So with that, those are just two of my favorite enhancements that we've put inside a group policy. I love the ability to filter, and I love the ability to target. So with that, I want to say thank you for tuning in, and have a great day.